Hi, my name is Jerome Wright. The image that you're looking at is a promotional photo of Mickey Minaj created by deluxe edition artist for her Roman Reloaded Pink Friday album. All you see is colorfully painted Mickey Minaj and a colorfully painted floor. Um, <coughs> Alright, let, let me enlighten you to the disturbing Im underlining images that actually have a cult reference and meaning to them and which actually attributes to Nicki Minaj's success. Here's Nicki Minaj right here. Look at her body. Right here. Let me show you Nicki Minaj's other body that you don't see until I just now pointed it out to you. Here's a black version of Nicki Minaj's right here. This is her upper torso. Her, her buttocks are right here. There's a um, the separation of her buttocks over her black buttocks is right there as well too. And this here represents the deformation of her head tilted back with her blackness of I guess when you if you want if you want if you will nappy hair, black hair pointed back and this is her becoming of her I guess new white version of herself. Now, this has nothing to do with nothing racist or anything like that, mind you, is is strictly all of cult origin. Now, her black body, which is here that I just now pointed out to you, it actually has the back by the spline torn open. Her back is torn open. And I don't know if you can see it from there, but what it actually has is a bunch of creatures shown of one, there's, there's like a serpent right here that's coming out of her body and leaving it out. And with a bunch of other creatures, satanic-like creatures coming out of her body. Even this black portion, which would actually represent her hair and her black self, would, is actually of origin of, of, of looking at like that of a creature. The entire image, entire image portrays that of cult-related message, of a cult-related message. Look at this again. I'm going to leave this up here now that I showed you because this is the first time you have ever heard this. Nicki Minaj laying here. Okay, in a white and likeness body. Here is her black torso, like if it died, if she moved away from it. It's broken away at the spline, and all of this stuff here represents everything that came out of her body. And to actually create her over here. Look at that. Okay, now I'm going to place the image up there where I made my drawings over top of what you have here. Okay, I'm thinking that we're, we're there. There we go. Look at what is here. Over here. Look at how I highlighted that her hand is in the mouth of a dolphin. Down here, this represents a whale. Her leg is in, the, in, is in the mouth of a whale. But let's forget all of that for a minute. Look at all of these highlights that I told you that was right here of her black body. Look at all of these things that are actually there, sprewing out of her body. There's even a horn bean right here with, 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 um, with a, um, a yellow organ spinning out of the mouth and coming down and shown going into the likeness of her, her likeness right here. Um, down here, we have images of, of apes, pigs. There's horn beans all through here that I've actually have highlighted. Take a, take, follow my pencil here. I'm getting excited. I normally do when I get on stuff like this here. And, um, but look, look at these little beans here that are actually, I have highlighted here. Look at this. Look at this stuff. All right. This stuff is actually there and know that I am not foolish enough to be placing this stuff online. If in fact, I didn't know what I was talking about, but look over here, look out of all of these underlining images representing cult of cult origin are actually up in here in this image. Okay, now these are things that you didn't know that even even existed. And even if you didn't want to believe all of this stuff here, why in fact is her body, is there a black likeness of her body right here, her upper torso with the back torn out, with demonic-like figures coming out, and this here is a serpent, which is actually a snake's head coming out of her body. Why is that stuff being there, and why is it not being addressed or talked about on the internet until I brought it up? talking about court origin. I'm going to tell you why I actually know of all of this as well, too. Okay? That's Mickey, um, Nicki Minaj, and this is I'm exposing her and her success for being of court origin. Take a good look at that before I take that down. I'm going to put up another image. I'm 
I'm going to leave her for a minute. Now, I'm going to give you a site that you can actually go to and see this stuff. Okay, I have a website that you can go to. Also, here on, um, on YouTube, I have another video that's up that's called I Discovered the Holy Grail. Okay, and it's in Geronification. I have another video so you can actually see my other findings. But here for now, because I'm, I know I only got 10 minutes here. Let's go to the next. How I know, how, let me tell you how I found out about what's going on here with Mickey Minaj, with these cult individuals, because I done followed them from a longer way back than just here. That's how come this is so, this is easy for me to find here. Let me show you something. Mona Lisa. I want to show you something about Leonardo da Vinci's um, Mona Lisa. Everybody's been trying for so many years trying to figure out what in the world is going on with Mona Lisa. Well, I didn't discover that as well, too. In her hair, there's a bunch of encodings. You'll see a, a faded image right here. Let me show you what that is. I'm going to have to move quickly here. I'm going to move this away. All of this stuff is on my site. Look at these images. Okay, of a witch-like figure. An ape in her hair. Ape coming out this way. There's an ape there with another being up in his head. There's a demonic figure right here with a horn on it. This is the same stuff that I'm telling you people that is in Mickey Minaj's um, 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 Roman Reloaded. I'm... Um, um, um. Um, covered there for an album, well not cover for an album, but photo shoot, and it's done by Deluxe Editions, okay? Here's Christ by Da Vinci. Here's Christ by Da Vinci. Look at this here, how Da Vinci, and I have other all this stuff on my site about Da Vinci. Look at this here about Da Vinci, how in the face of Christ, there's a bearded individual here, there's a horn there on the nose of Christ, and then coming around here, around here, there's another horn. That's encoded. There's a face encoded looking that way with the eye. And this is in the face of Christ. Okay. Another image by Da Vinci. It's the same one of Christ. The same individual that created that bit. Look down here in the mouth down by Christ. This, this um, creature is there. Okay. A horned goat like, well, um, I forgot what they call them thing. Not a goat. I forgot what the hell they call that thing. And it escapes me right now. But I'm going to keep right on moving along and all. But this, um... Ah, oh, gosh, I forget. But anyway, I'm going to keep going because I forgot. I'm going to keep moving. Another painting by Da Vinci called The Prisoner. All right? The Prisoner. Look at this. None of these images you would not see unless I hide it, lighted them and put them up here for you to see. All right? This is by Da Vinci as well. Okay? Looking like the Madonna. You would not even see this in there. Google that image, The Prisoner. You would not see this. I highlighted that and put that on there. I have a lot more. I have I have many images that are on my site that you can actually see. Okay? And this is where you can find me at there. Let me make sure you can actually see this. Let me make sure that you can see this. I'm on YouTube, Geronification. That's G-E-R-O-N-E. I-F-I-C-A-T. I-O-N. Geronification. Go on YouTube, and you should be able to see my two videos. That I this is my second video. Obviously, you can see that how clumsy I am with doing this. This is first time ever, okay? And you can see the way I'm going about this. Or Google my name, Jerome Wright. That's G E R O N E Wright, W R I G H T. And then next to that, apostrophe, I am an alien, and so are you. And about maybe like three or four choices have come up. Just click on any one of them and go to the last pages and bring yourself back. And start, there's almost over 240 something pages there. Okay? And my site is on alien UFOs, dreams, and experiences. Please go there, and I'm telling you, you will not be sorry of the information. You will have an, an enlightening experience of the information that I have on it. I mean, it's going to blow you away. Okay? There is something going on in our world that needs to be addressed, and a lot of it I talk about on there. I mean, you can draw your own conclusions, but just for the information part of it, do yourself a favor and go to that site so you can actually see what's going on and get yourself some information. I have some pretty good, interesting stuff there going on. I'm going to put this up here one more time for you. Here's, a, here's another image or two of Leonardo da Vinci. This is Leonardo's face. Everybody's very familiar with this, with this image of Leonardo da Vinci. Look at this. On the side of his face, there's a woman with beings being um, projected from her face out across his eye in this reddened area. Then there's a being over here. All of this stuff is on my website being addressed and all. And it's all relating to what I'm telling you here about 
Nicki Minaj. And this image is right here. There's no there's no reason for there to be a black body laying there with the back busted out. Okay, and nobody knows about it until now. So just for that purpose only, just go there on my site and check that out. And also check out my video here, okay, which is the Holy Grail being found. Thank you. I appreciate you.